guys, it's Sarah. Okay, so it's a no makeup day for me. It's too hot out. I did my workout, took a shower. Now I'm doing this. I feel like for me, that's a day full of priorities. It's also great because my parents aren't home. They're only going to be gone for two days, but they're acting like they're gonna be gone for a month. Do you guys have parents like that? Like they literally text you all the time. They're like, be good, don't do this, can't do this, we'll be back and they send you everything that they're doing. Like, I don't care. Anyway, I'm sorry I went on this rant. That's not what the video is about. But anyway, here's the latest news that's been happening in the past couple days. much going on there's basically just been a bunch of pictures of Harry and then some minor news okay so if you guys have watched me long enough you guys know that I talk about being blessed a lot because whenever I see pictures of Harry I'm just like bless whenever I see pictures of Louie I'm like bless you guys know the deal so we got new pictures of Harry jogging and not only was he jogging but he was eating while jogging now that is a sport that I need to try jogging is a sport itself but when you can eat and jog at the same time that's just a new Olympics how can that boy multitask like that these are questions we not only need to ask Harry Styles but ask Louis Tomlinson as well. Somebody also pointed out that Louis wore green shoes and Harry wore blue shoes. Now obviously this is just major coincidence, I doubt they planned it, but you never know. Someone also mentioned to me that it's funny that once we get Louis pictures, we get Harry pictures like right after. Like I feel like their pap photos are always like very close in date with each other and they're kind of planned. Like have you guys noticed that? Like if we get pap pictures of Louis, we get like pap pictures of Harry like a day after. I don't know if they're correlated, but it's just something I've thought about. But I would like to think that Harry and Louis' coordinated shoes was planned because seriously green and blue is a big thing in this fandom also if you guys look at these pictures of Harry you notice that he's the only one out of his group of guy friends who is wearing a hat some people might look at these photos and be like okay so Harry is wearing a hat it could have been chilly or whatever but no okay I'm pretty sure that it's hot everywhere and if you notice if it was cold the three other guys Harry was with would have been wearing hats so it must have been warm if the other guys weren't in the attire Harry was in if you know Notice Harry's outfit was a little strange like not like strange as in like why are you wearing that but just like different like he was wearing a beanie hat and then under his long baggy shorts he was wearing what looked to be under armor like they looked like capri tights to me but I'm pretty sure they were men's um under armor I kind of wanted them to be tights but we all can dream. So I started to question Harry's attire a little bit. Like, if it's hot out, why would you be wearing Under Armour under your shorts? And why would you be wearing a beanie? And you can tell it was hot out because the other guys next to him were wearing just, like, shorts and a t-shirt. So I don't know why Harry was wearing the Under Armour. Maybe he just got it from the store and he wanted to wear it. So I'm not going to talk about that. But I think I have some analysis for why Harry was wearing a beanie. So obviously everybody knows that Harry just got his hair cut. And what myself and others have started to realize is that I think Harry Harry has a little bit of dysmorphia with the way his hair looks and if you don't know what dysmorphia is it just means that you have some uncomfortableness with the way your body looks and I'm sure everyone defines dysmorphia in a different way I know trans people go through it but that's basically what it is it's just being uncomfortable and not liking your body so I'm pretty sure Harry is fine with his body I'm pretty sure he's working out because he has to be fit for the movie but I feel like Harry is not comfortable with his haircut because ever since Harry has gotten this haircut he has always been covering it up because who runs with a hat on now again I'm not saying I know how Harry feels but I said on Twitter that Harry might look in the mirror and he might not even recognize himself some people were even thinking that once Harry got his haircut his confidence also left and even though that sounds silly I think there's actually some fact to that. If you guys notice, I think Harry really identified with his long hair. He had so many memories with that. You can tell he probably felt more confident when he had that long hair. You could definitely tell there was a difference in the way Harry presented himself, the way he acted, his personality, once his hair was grown out. He was very happy with it. And I'm not saying Harry regrets his decision. Obviously, he did it for a good cause, it was for charity. Someone who now is going to get his hair actually needs his hair. And also, he did it for a movie he genuinely wanted to be in. But that doesn't mean that Harry loves his new hair. And it actually kind of makes me sad when I think that Harry might not like his hair. He might not be confident with it. And once he got his long hair cut off, 
the confidence left him as well. I really don't think Harry identifies with short hair. I know people just say hair is hair, it grows back, but there's a lot of people who identify with their hair. It's a personality with them. Some people's nails identify who they are too. And I hope you guys get where I'm coming from. It's really hard to explain. I'm not trying to say that Harry's hair defines him because there's many things about Harry that defines him. But I'm just saying that Harry can be a big way somebody expresses themselves and how they feel about themselves and their confidence level. I used to have really short hair, but I was still confident with it. But now that I have long hair, I feel like I can do more with it. And I just, I think, identify more with my long hair. I heard that filming for Dunkirk ends in September, so I'm sure by September, Harry will start to grow his hair back out again. I just don't want to see Harry sad. I don't want Harry to feel like he has to cover up himself every time he goes out. I feel like I could say more about this topic, but I can't really think of anything more to say. You guys probably get it. Also on the topic of Harry Styles, it says he will be like a Rolling Stone as he plays Mick Jagger in a movie. The One Direction heartthrob is set to play the legendary Stones womanizer in a film about their 1972 album, Exile. So I know they're not calling Harry a womanizer, they're calling the role he's playing a womanizer, but I still don't like the fact that they're putting this in the media that Harry's gonna play a womanizing role. Because there's already stuff in the media saying that Harry is a womanizer. Anyway, it says, although Harry is only 22 and Mick was pushing 30 at the time of Exile, there's definitely a strong resemblance between the two. And despite One Direction being much more clean living than the Stones, Harry can surely relate to some of Mick's charisma and fondness for the ladies. According to the Daily Star, Harry got noticed by Hollywood while filming a movie called Dunkirk, and it was noted he resembled Jagger. A source told the star he's about 10 years too young, but makeup and special effects can sort that out. Now, I don't consider this negative news. I will really support Harry if he goes for another movie role, but I just don't want this to get in the way of One Direction. One Direction said that they're coming back mid-2017 or end of 2017, and I don't want this other movie role to conflict with One Direction's promises. But I know Harry's not that person. Harry's not the person to have this big ego and be like, nah, I'm leaving the band and I'm going to go pursue my own acting stuff because I'm all good now, Hollywood's recognizing me. He's not that type of person. Even though Harry is becoming successful in a little acting career on the side, I don't think that's going to totally remove his singing career. But I just hate how the media kind of assumes what Harry is. They're like, oh, since Harry's good with the ladies, he should play this role. And because we assume this about Harry's Styles' whole personality, he should play this role. Like, I know they're trying to compare Harry and Mick, and like, I get it. Like, when they were younger, they both kind of looked the same, but they really shouldn't be comparing Harry to Mick Jagger, like, all the way. The media only knows a little bit about Harry, and I know we only know a little bit about him too, but I think we know more than the media. But you know what? I don't want to make this a negative thing. I think, if anything, Harry playing a second role is probably more positive, but I will only support this if Harry is not forced into it. I will only support it if he genuinely wants to do this. I don't want Harry to be pressured into a role just because people think he resembles Mick Jagger. I know Harry loves the Rolling Stones, but he should only do it if he feels comfortable and if he wants to, which should be an obvious idea. And there was not just that article about it, there was another article. They even show a picture of Harry looking like Mick Jagger. See the resemblance? Also, there was another thing I found interesting, but I'm sure it's old news. But there was a picture going around Twitter saying that Louis liked this photo with the caption, Happy Husbands on Instagram. Now, I'm pretty sure I saw this about a few months ago, maybe even a year ago, so I'm sure this is old news. I don't think I'm just overthinking things. But for some reason, it's come up again, so maybe other people think this is new news. And plus, the first time I saw this, I didn't know if it was fake or not, because people can fake an account, people can fake tweets, people can fake if someone favorited something. Twitter's very confusing. You don't know what's real nowadays. So tell me in the comments if Louis actually did favorite this picture. I don't even care if this was a long time ago. Also, speaking of photos and proof, this is also kind of dated, but there's this Instagram account that posted pictures 40 weeks ago and the caption on one of them with Harry says One Direction, hashtag after party, hashtag club 23. And then there's another picture, same time, 40 weeks ago, same account. And it says hashtag One Direction, hashtag after party, hashtag club 23. So basically what the person's getting at is that there are two photos, one with Harry and one with Louis. It's the same place 
same time, same person who posted them, implying that Harry and Louis were at the same club and they were trying to make it look like Harry and Louis might have not been at the same club by not being in the same picture. Because that's what happens a lot. Harry and Louis might go to the same event, but they will never get photoed together. Happens more than we think. But this just confirms that Harry and Louis were at the same club. And again, I know that this might be dated, but I don't think it's bad that we're getting old information. Also, another piece of sketchy information says mark your calendar the Harry Styles Unseen Leaking Party will start on Friday, June 17th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Now I'm checking the date. I don't even know what date it is. Okay, today's the 18th. Yeah, during the summer you have no idea what day it is. You only probably know the month. So apparently there's supposed to be Harry Styles leaking photos or something like that. I haven't seen any yet, but if you guys have, tell me below. And there's two more things I'd like to discuss and one of them is Brianna. Again, it's a little dated, but we kind of just discovered it recently. Okay, it says this video is from Brianna's Vine account in October when she was six to seven months pregnant. So basically what they're getting at, and it's pretty obvious when you're six to seven months pregnant which apparently she was then in October in the vine she is jumping around if you're six to seven months pregnant you cannot be like jumping on a beach like that like you're some preteen plus her body doesn't even look like she's six to seven months pregnant so if she was like seven months pregnant this is fake she was not pregnant that's why I think that either this whole baby thing is fake or there's two Briannas, like they hired one and one got pregnant and then the other one's just the other stunt double who didn't get pregnant. I don't know, it's so confusing. But there's no way that Brianna in October in that picture was pregnant. And the last thing I'd like to mention is about Harry and Louis and I decided to make this the last topic because why not end on something pleasant? Okay, so if you look back on family ties and who got married and whose family and like past lives and all that, well someone did that with Harry and Louis' families like Styles and Tomlinson. So if we looked here, it says England and Wales marriage index 1916 to 2005, birth, marriage, and death including parish. So for this one it says name Michael Styles, spouse Susan A. Tomlinson, marriage March 1970 in Yorkshire. This one says Michael T. Styles married to Anne O. Tomlinson, married December 1973 in Leeds, Yorkshire. This person says they found three Styles slash Tomlinson marriages and they found more than one. One got married in Leeds in 1973, which we saw. This person says, I can't believe there are so many Styles in couples. I'm looking them up and we have Adelaide Styles and Henry Tomlinson, 1912, Gladys Styles and Cecile Tomlinson, 1927, Michael Styles and Susan Tomlinson, 1970, Michael Styles and Ann Tomlinson, 1973, in Leeds. Mary Styles and Stephen Tomlinson, 1995, and they've been soulmates since 1912. Wow. Imagine all the reincarnation fix this is fueling. Oh my god, right? So a lot of people might find this coincidence, but I don't really think it is. For the amount of Tomlinson and Styles who got married in Leeds also, and who were just like soulmates, like Louis and Harry are just destined to be together based on these facts and the family index. So you can tell me all your thoughts about that below. So that's all I'm going to cover today. If I missed anything, I'll just say it in my next video. By the way, shout out to Emily. She drew me. She sent me an Instagram picture. Here is the photo. It's so cute. So shout out to her and shout out to Flo Blub from Snapchat. I love you both and everybody who watches. And like always, I make a video whenever I want. So like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description and I will see you guys later. Bye.